second hour. Yes. To, uh, now we're going to head out to the third world country, the home of the longest continuous burning tire fire anywhere in the continental United States, sitting at the end of the dirt road out there. It's Aaron. Hey, Aaron. What's up? Hey, you know what? This morning, Christy Brinkley is talking 61 and bikinis. And this is all I have to say to Christy Brinkley. I'm going to play Rod Stewart for a minute. You'll wear it well, a little old-fashioned, but hey, we don't mind, do we, fellas? No. <laughs> <laughs> we, we like Christy Brinkley. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 61 years old. 1969, the Mets over Baltimore. Uh, I, I know this very well. I was on the Mets. That was my little league baseball team. Mm -hmm. And, uh, uh, you know, we won our championship, uh, our division that year. I write the Mets a letter. I was a neighborhood hero for the following reason. I had the following autographs on one piece of paper. They sent me a team photograph that was autographed. I had Nolan Ryan, Tom Seaver, Tug McGraw, Jerry Kuzman, Jerry Grove, Ken Boswell, Bud Harrelson, Amos Otis. All those people were on the 69 match folks. And what an autograph photo that was. Um, over the years, it's been lost somewhere. I don't know where it is. It was a treasure at one time. <laughs> In 68, it was Detroit over Boston. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, uh, uh, and, and, of course, that uh, team had Bob Gibson in. Bob Gibson, the only pitcher Willie Mays would never dig in on. He did it one time. He never did it again. And, and he's not ashamed to admit it. Hey, Aaron, are you on a speakerphone this morning? No, I'm not. I keep moving my phone around to get it away from stuff so the echo stops. Okay. And I can't figure out what it's doing. Hmm. It's echoing. Yeah, it's echoing. It is doing that. Yeah. Well, you know, you know what I, you know what I have. Here. You know what I have in my uh, hobby room. Uh, what that? Trains. Well, I have trains, and I have radio-controlled cars, and I have that stuff. I also have a baseball, a foul ball that was hit by Sandy Koufax. Back in, oh, wow. uh, I believe it was 1965. Is it verified? And it's from the guy that caught the caught the foul ball. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, the the ball is correct if you look all that. Now, is it signed by Sandy Koufax? No, but it was a foul ball hit by Sandy Koufax. This Chavez Ravine back in '65. All right, Chavez Ravine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, that, that that's a nice little tidbit to have. Yeah. Yep. Hey, you know what? Over uh, last night, Pat Woodall, I don't know if many people know that name, but we all knew her as Bobby Joe Bradley. Condolences to her family. Of course, she was on Cheyenne, 77 Sunset Strip, and then Petticoat Junction. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Bobby Joe. <laughs> Cute. Yeah. She was a brainiac. She was a brainiac. Hey, let's talk potassium bromide for just a minute. It's an additive put in breads. It, it, now it looks like it's causing problems with kidneys and thyroids. Um, and, the, and the thing is, it's really not necessary. What it does, it makes the dough stronger. It makes it, uh, gives it the little white color. And it also helps it rise higher, what they say. But it's not necessary. But ascorbic acid is a good alternative. So, and here's the thing. European Union, the United Kingdom, Canada, and Brazil have all banned this as an additive and California requires a warning label on anything with potassium bromate in it. Mm. Okay. So, you know, uh, there, there's something to look at if uh, you have a, a product and there is a lot of uh, companies that use that in their in their, in their bread products. McDonald's. Boom. Yeah, really. Yeah. Um, your elected officials represent folks Jack tomorrow yeah, tomorrow is the day that uh, H.R. 1599, of course, that is called the Dark Act. It, it gives Monsanto carte blanche over food labeling. It takes away states' rights on the food labeling issue. It eliminates all the laws that have been passed on food labeling by states up to now. They start talking about it in the Senate tomorrow. Get on the phone. Tell your senators to vote no. This is a very important piece of legislation that cannot be passed. It's a terrible piece of legislation for the general public. Couple quotes. Adolf Hitler once said, society's needs come before individuals. Hillary Clinton last week was quoted, we must stop thinking of the individual needs 
and start thinking what is best for society. Something to think about when you go to the polls, ladies and gentlemen. Well, what about ask not what your country can do for you, but what you can do for your country? Isn't that the similar uh, uh, sentiment? No. I, yeah, J Kennedy. <laughs> you know, Kennedy, Kennedy said that uh, one, yeah. And, and, and that might have led uh, somebody pulling a trigger on him, too. I'm not mm -hmm. real sure, but uh, uh, there, there were a lot of intricacies. And, and you know, speaking of, uh, of JFK, the R.V. Oswald's in the uh, in the thing again. Uh, conspiracy theorists are studying photographs, and they've always claimed one photograph was a fake, and they've done some research on the photograph and all the kind of tests and stuff they do. The photograph is not a fake. It, and it's the one of him standing in front of a... Um, the the row of houses down there in Texas. Wow, Ooh. who's that? Lee Harvey Oswald. Oh, okay. Lee Harvey Oswald. I, in my humble opinion, the scapegoat uh, uh, for for that execution. I, I honestly don't believe he did that. Uh, uh, you'll never convince me that Lee Harvey Oswald shot from that observatory or wherever it was in that library that he shot Kennedy. That I don't care what they say. You'll never, ever, ever convince me. And I can, you can say thank you to Mr. Swain because my uh, 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 report, my, my school paper for American history in his class that year, I was a sophomore in high school, was prove JFK died November 22nd, 1963. And when the man put all the facts in front of me and, and gave me all the material to go research, I could not prove beyond a reasonable doubt that JFK died November 22nd, 1963. Hmm. So, yeah, there, there's a lot of stuff out there. Uh, when you start talking conspiracy theories and stuff like that, um, JFK was shot in the back of the head. They used the excuse that his face was blown off. Well, I saw autopsy photos. He had a little hole in the front of his head could have been fixed cosmetically his face was fine it was not destroyed beyond recognition therefore the closed casket issue nobody really knows what was in that casket well i wonder how, how do you feel about the waco incident was that a conspiracy too then or uh you talking about those, those branch davidian people yeah mm -hmm. the, the, the ones that need psychologizing yeah, yeah. they were just idiots I, I just think that they were kind of stupid, and uh, when you play poker, if you're going to call somebody, you better be able to, to hold your own, no, and he couldn't, could he? No. <laughs> okay, okay, well, I, just, I just wanted to do a sanity check there. And, and when you get in a firefight with the government, don't keep a lot of flammable liquids around. Yeah, I, I have a yeah. bus that's been for the for the, uh, the, the bombing. Yeah, <laughs> me the only cow. Mm -hmm. All right, Aaron. Well, uh, how do we get a hold of you out there at Alladay, Ellis? Hey, happy birthday, Tom Petty, Bella Lugosi, and while we're on baseball, folks, we can't forget the Mick, Mickey Mantle, Keith Hernandez. Their birthdays are today. Happy birthday to those folks. Seven seven five two three zero nine nine one five on the telephone, folks. Don't forget all your ski information worldwide uh, uh, up to the date, HamiltonSkiLine.com, Declaro Paz Mundial, www.AllidayLLC.com, on that worldwide web, folks. We'll be here all day. Give a call. we got great gift ideas out here. Uh, and Aaron, have a good time. Let's all be safe. Out Aaron, before, before you go away, um, big day yesterday, Barry Zito officially announced his retirement from baseball as an Oakland A. He, he did, and that just opens up a roster spot for Oakland, so uh, let's hope it works out good for everybody involved. All righty. Thanks, Aaron. See you, All right. Have a good day, folks. All righty. Well, let's go from uh, the third world country, Silver Springs, Nevada, to Wall Street with our opening stock market report. We have Ken Roberts. Hey, Ken. What's, what's up? up? Well, housing starts are up 1.206 million units. That was better than expected, and the best it's been in about eight years.